Hello everyone and welcome to my channel IT Info. Today our topic is uh, how to set up a domains and what are DNS records. So let's discuss about this. So topics we will cover today are brief discussion on domain, types of DNS records, steps to add a custom domain in M365 and steps to remove a custom domain in M365. Let's start with the first topic, which is custom domain. So a uh, custom domain can be purchased from a partner, for example, a GoDaddy. Custom domain are not static. They can be added or get removed from the organization as per organization standard. So custom domains are those domains basically, which can be bought, for, uh, bought by the organization and can be added or can be removed as per the organization standard. Custom domain contain records, which we needs to publish on a domain provider. GoDaddy, for example, the GoDaddy. So custom domain contains some records, for example, a MX record, a TXT record or a CNAME record, which is used to add a domain or verify a domain in an exchange online environment. So let's discuss how custom domain works. So administrator first will query a domain, a name of a domain, if it is available in an internet or not. So domain provider will query that if if the uh, domain is available, for example, a makefit.com is available, then it can be purchased. And then the administrator will add the purchased domain in an M365 environment. After trying to add a domain in M365 environment, M365 will query some of the records, which is MX TXT CNAME then administrator will add that records in a domain provider. So GoDaddy will uh, publish that records and the M365 will recognize that record and add the domain in an M365 environment. So once domain is added in M365 environment, then we can use that domain to assign a mail address of principal username to the users for example user at makefit.com now we will discuss about the dns records how many type of dns records are there to add a domain or verify a domain first we will discuss about txt so txt is basically used to identify who owns the domain the ownership of the domain so for that M365 will query the administrator, like uh, provide me a proof who is the owner of the domain. Then M365 will provide a value to add that value in an TXT record. So administrator will copy that value and will add that value in an GoDaddy, uh, for example, your service provider of a domain and it will add it in a TXT record then the uh, M365 will verify it from the uh, your service provider, for example, a GoDaddy. If the value match, then the domain is verified. Now let's move ahead and let's discuss about uh, MX record. So MX record is basically a mail exchange record, which is used to send or receive emails to the external domain. So uh, Let's discuss about this. For example, there is an external user which is trying to send an email to a organization user. So first, NS lookup will happen for a DNS record. Uh, the external provider will do a NS lookup to find a domain, which is makefit.com, our domain. Then a DNS will query to the domain provider and then domain provider uh, will check for the value. For example, there is a value for an MX record, which you can see on top, makefit-com.mail.protection.outlook.com. So makefit-com is our domain name. And after that, it is a value of an MX, mail.protection.outlook.com. 
once it is verified from a domain provider then it will redirect to our m365 environment and m365 environment will redirect the mail to the user mailbox for example a at makefit.com so that is how mx record works now let's discuss about the third record which is cname record CNAME record is used by Autodiscover. If I if I can uh, tell about Autodiscover, Autodiscover is being used to uh, automatic configure a profile in an Outlook of a user in our organization or for a domain. And Autodiscover also use FreeVisi and, and there are some different services which can be used by Autodiscover. So CNAME records are being used for the Autodiscover. Now let's move ahead and check how to add a domain in an uh, M365 environment. <clears throat> so we will move to the click on settings and we will move to domains. And we will click on add domain. So you need to enter the name here of your domain for example I am entering mine makefit.com click on use this domain so it is asked for verify your verify you own your domain okay so it is asking for a add a txt record to the DNS request click on continue So you need to enter these values in your uh, GoDaddy or your domain service provider. So you can copy all this for example a txt name. Okay, Click here add a new record type txt name at the rate. Txt value is this which has been provided by the uh, M365 environment and the TTL is 3600 so uh, you just maintain it for one one hour and click on save so you can see below this txt record has been added now click on verify it will take some uh, five to six minutes to update the record Okay, it is saying we didn't check that you added this uh, new record to makefit.com. Make sure the record you created at your host exactly matches the record shown here. If it does, please wait for our system to detect the changes. So let's wait until and unless it, uh, it is verified by the domain provider. Okay, so after adding a TXT record, you click on continue. How do you want to connect your domain? So click on continue. Exchange online and exchange records. Yes, MX records. CDame records and a TXT record. These records will be added automatically because we are from the uh, we are using the domain from the uh, GoDaddy. So click on continue. Okay, okay, so we need to add that manually. Click on copy, go to your domain provider, click on MX, click on the name, come back again, click the value, and the well, sorry, we have copied the priority, priority is zero. click on value so as we have discussed about the value first the domain name will come for example mcfit.com and then mx value will come mail.protection.outlook.com we will set the ttl as one and we click on save now we will add a cname record for cname record we will select cname then we will enter the name copy we will copy the value 
TTL will be set to one hour and we will add the SPF record also. So SPF record, we will discuss about this in a different video. So SPF records TKIM DMARC, we will discuss about this separately in a separate video. So let's add a SPF value also. The TTL will remain one hour and save. Okay, now we added all the DNS records. It will take some five or 10 minutes to update this. V equals to SPF1 include spn.protection.outloom. This is a SPF value. This is a TXT value. This is a Amex record value. And this is the CNAME. CNAME, as you can see, it is being used for the auto discover. Now let's click on continue and let's check if the DNS have been fetched or not. Yes, it is fetched. And as you can see, domain setup is complete makefit.com is all set up and you can now view and manage it from your domain list you can now go to active users to add new users and set up email addresses so now let's see as you can see below the domain has been added and make it as a default so i want to share one information regarding the initial domain you can't delete remove or modify the initial domain but you can delete remove or modify this uh, custom domain so now let's move forward and try to add one user click on add user enter the first name for example it dev display name will come here let's make it dev and it will ask for you what domain you want to choose you can choose either initial or an custom domain so this is for automatically create a password. No, I will provide a password. Require user to change their password when they first sign in. Okay, then it will ask for a license if you want to assign or not. Click on next. Click on next. Click on finish adding. If you want to send an email to IT Dev for the password or the username, you can send it. Click close. So now refresh, and you can see the user is created with the username IT Dev at makefit.com. Now we have uh, seen how to add a domain, how to add a records in a domain provider and now we will see how to delete a domain from an environment so first deleting a domain you have to set a default an initial domain to delete delete this custom domain then you can click here and click on remove domain click on automatically remove it will sync the data and the domain will be removed after this domain removal is in progress so let's try and refresh it's still there so it is processing the data let's wait for some time
so guys sometimes it can take up to 24 hours to remove a domains demo uh, domains with many dependencies tend to take longer than others but it will get removed so yes you can see below the domain is removed so guys if you like this video please like if you have any query or have any doubt please comment on the same i will reply if you want to share this video please share and if you want to continue learning with m365 and for other technologies please subscribe the channel i will upload a new video so thank you and have a nice day